Scott from Scott Shop Media. Today is Thursday, November 5th, and this is what is happening on the mountain. Just four Caltrans projects to tell you about going on today that might be affecting your traffic. Uh, three of them on the mountaintop uh, during the day and one of them down at the bottom, the 3.30 overnight. Those, all four of those are ongoing construction projects that have been uh, going on all week. Uh, weather's going to look nice today. Uh, about average, maybe a little above average. You might see some clouds moving in from a, the uh, Pacific storm, uh, uh, remnants of a hurricane that's off the coast. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't produce uh, any uh, precipitation. Uh, however, uh, tomorrow a, a system, a low pressure system moving in from the Gulf of Alaska, it gives us a real chance, the first real chance of uh, some rain and even snow uh, at higher elevations through the weekend. Uh, and in some cases, uh, we're looking at four to eight inches of snow at resort level and maybe even a foot of snow at some of the higher peaks. Uh, <clears throat> until that storm gets here, we'll be under elevated fire danger for today. Uh, there are Santa Ana winds that are occurring uh, in other parts of Southern California, not so much here on the mountain uh, with the high pressure system that's parked over uh, the Great Basin um, and this uh, remnants of the hurricane uh, over the Pacific, the Southern Pacific, uh, we should have some onshore flow, but nothing uh, dangerous for us up here on the mountain. Of course, as soon as that rain and snow gets here, our fire danger goes down pretty significantly for the next week or so, uh, which is really good news. And with the increased winds from both the uh, high pressure system uh, and the storm that is approaching with the shifting of the winds it wouldn't be too surprising if we saw some more smoke coming from the El Dorado fire. Uh, and with this uh, rain in uh, over the El Dorado fire, we should probably see a good uh, a, uh, a good chance that that'll be the last of the smoke that we see. Uh, three crimes reported uh, across the mountain over the past 48 hours. Uh, currently, uh, Edison is reporting one power outage, and Bear Valley Electric is reporting one power outage. And the biggest news, other than the storms that are coming, is in the past 48 hours, the mountain has seen 28 new COVID cases, which is a lot. So uh, that's our update in a nutshell. If you have a few minutes to stick around, we'll go into greater detail, starting with traffic. Uh, State Route 18 uh, over here from uh, Lakeview Drive to Bartlett, uh, you're down to one lane as Caltrans does some uh, utility work. Uh, State Route 38, the, that emergency work between Old Mill Creek and Jenks Lake is still going on from the El Dorado fire. Uh, the Lake Gregory project, uh, State Route 189 from Lake Gregory Drive to State Route 173. Uh, two different construction projects going on there. Uh, ongoing both guardrail repair and utility work and then of course at the bottom of the 330 overnight we have that ongoing widening of the freeway so you might lose an interchange at times between 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. so just a reminder to uh, watch out for those construction crews slow for the cone, cone zone give them a uh, plan your trip ahead of time uh, so that you um, aren't rushed and uh, impatient so uh, they really do work hard out there to keep our mountains roads safe Weather, first real chance of some snow in most mountain communities this weekend. Uh, Crestline uh, might get just a dust of snow. You'll definitely get some rain. It just might not be cold enough to turn into snow throughout most of the Lake Gregory Crestline area. Uh, Twin Peaks, uh, Lake Arrowhead, uh, maybe a better chance. Running Springs and Big Bear, absolutely. We're expecting to see 48 inches of snow for to eight inches of snow. Uh, part of that coming in on Friday, part of that coming in on Sunday, and uh, maybe some dusting uh, in between. Uh, the resort levels, probably close to eight inches, and then the mountain tops, the peaks, uh, are might even see a foot of snow. So get your chains ready. Uh, expect uh, travel to be hindered. Uh, none of the resorts are open, so we shouldn't see a whole lot of of skiing traffic, but people definitely coming up to play in the snow, people unprepared, uh, usually the first winter storm. Uh, we see people not knowing how to use their chains, not being prepared, 
uh, so we can do our part in uh, setting the example out there. No hazardous weather forecasted. There are Santa Ana conditions going on in else, elsewhere in Southern California, including uh, just to the north and west of us in the Antelope Valley and in the high desert, uh, the San Bernardino uh, desert, uh, San Bernardino County desert areas, but they really shouldn't affect the mountaintop. Uh, most of our wind that we're gonna see is Friday late afternoon into evening through Saturday and Sunday as the low pressure system moves in, bringing us our first chance of rain uh, or snow of the season. Um, and so as those storms come in and as they leave, we can see some gusty winds. Hopefully not enough to create uh, damage. I don't suspect we'll see a repeat of last Thanksgiving uh, where it was just a significant amount of snow and a lot of our trees uh, hadn't quite prepared um, yet. So we saw a lot of tree damage, a lot of power lines damage. Uh, so the winds aren't expected to be that strong, uh, but be prepared, right? Um, make sure you have uh, gas for your generator. Make sure you have uh, firewood um, and we'll, you know, be prepared as if the winter is here. Um, and then following um, the following week, uh, we should see low temperatures uh, at least through Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. And what that'll do is it'll give us a reduced fire danger, our first uh, multi-day low to little risk that we've seen uh, for quite a while uh, since early summer. Uh, so right now for today, because of the winds, uh, the high pressure system over the Great Bas Basin, the mountain is at a moderate fire risk uh, for a new start and for fire spread. You can see just north and west of us that that is uh, high winds uh, could definitely create a problem for fire starts and spread uh, just northwest of us through today. But as this low pressure system moves in tomorrow, that risk goes to low, uh, and even in some cases for little throughout the entire, uh, for most of next week, which is really good. Uh, but until that happens, the forest floor is still under extreme fire danger and all the restrictions that go along with that are in place. And uh, we are still at a slightly elevated above average fire risk through the end of the year, which is pretty common uh, for this time of year until uh, until we get enough moisture on the ground. So no fires to report on the forest floor uh, today. The only uh, ongoing issue is that El Dorado fire still 95% containment. Uh, not sure when it'll be 100%, but this weather coming in will certainly help that. And uh, don't be surprised though until we get that moisture on the ground if you don't see some more smoke coming up from the area, especially off of Highway 38. It's almost been a daily occurrence now. Uh, crimes, we just had three crimes reported in the past 40 hours, all of them in the Big Bear Lake area. Uh, vandalism, trespassing, and a person drunk in public. Uh, so nothing too serious, nothing violent uh, going on uh, in the next, last couple of days. Power outages, uh, Edison is reporting one power outage affecting nine customers in Lake Arrowhead as they work to uh, upgrade power pole, and that should be fixed by about two o'clock today. And then Bear Valley Electric over here in the Minnelosa Canyon area uh, is, um, not sure how many customers are affected by it, but they're doing some vegetation management. So they're gonna have to shut off the power at times between now and two o'clock in order to safely uh, do that. Um, Edison is reporting the possibility that because of these winds today that are in the high desert, especially in the Lucerne Valley area. Um, so this might not affect any of us up here on the mountaintop, but if those winds do develop uh, this area here between, um, between um, Lucerne Valley and uh, you know maybe uh, just north of Big Bear off of uh, State Route 18 uh, might be under, uh, it's under consideration for power uh, shut off because of those winds and we'll keep you updated if that happens and if certainly if that affects the mountain communities. Uh, lastly, our uh, COVID-19 update, we have seen in the past 48 hours a large increase in the total number of cases uh, on the mountain. Uh, there are uh, 13 new cases reported in the Big Bear City area, two new cases in Big Bear Lake, uh, six new cases in Crestline, two new cases in Lake Arrowhead, one new case in Running Springs, and three 
new cases in Sugarloaf and one new case in Twin Peaks. So it's kind of mountain wide. Uh, some of these cases uh, are, are, we suspect are old. We don't believe that these are actually all people who have tested positive in the last couple of days. We think some of this is just being properly reallocated from that kitty that uh, was previously unknown or unreported. Um, so I, I don't think we see 28 new sick people on the mountain. I don't think that's what we're seeing here. I think we're just seeing um, uh, some reallocation or some previously unreported cases. Uh, but uh, that's just a reminder to make sure that we're following our protocols. Uh, this is the uh, trailing 14-day average. So it's a seven-day average. That was from seven days ago showing what your community spread might look like or your community risk might look like. Uh, for the Bear Valley area, we're under a substantial risk. For the Rim communities, we're under a widespread risk from that uh, seven-day trailing average from seven days the, from the previous seven days. Uh, but here's what we're looking at with those new numbers. This is our daily uh, totals. So we're at a 28 on the uh, state's risk tier uh, level, uh, which is really, really high. The rest of the county is high too at 30, California 14, and the country is at 31. So uh, so there is new spread throughout the county, the state, uh, and the country. And so uh, we, we think this is a, our third wave. Uh, hopefully it'll be short-lived. Uh, but with flu season coming on, it makes it especially problematic. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, text message, emailing is always the best, or follow along on our social media channels, and we'll keep you up to date with late breaking news. Again, this is Scott from Scott Shop Media, and you have a wonderful day.